Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your June 2021 Dante Tarot reading. I'm so sorry. We kind of skipped May. Um, I just had so many things going on um, that I needed to be present for. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, which is kind of the first time that I'm mentioning this, I do weekly readings and more uh, personal things on there. So if I'm not here for my YouTubers, you know, I'm definitely there with my IG and Facebook audience. Um, this month of June, Gemini season is like a month of love, you know, because Gemini is too, you know, relationship, even though it's hot girl summer, a lot of people is wanting to be booed up right now. You know what I'm saying? And not necessarily with high expectations, but they want to have them a little solid tang is where the collective energy is at. Okay. So we're going to do things a little different. Um, we're going to do a reading for you as always, and then a reading for the person that you as a Gemini are thinking about. Yes. Okay. I am so excited for these because I usually offer these in my relationship package from my tarot menu. So this is like <laughs> what people really request me for is to check on other people. You know, that's really what I'm good at. Yeah. So yes, we came in with a very calming energy. It was very calming music, you know, that started playing. I have the instrumentals going, the frequency music, which is very good. Um, messages as well in the music. We're just gonna light this real quick, okay? Take a few hits. Make sure y'all are cool, calm, and collected. And this is also the first time that I'm giving so much intention into all of these um, readings and it's because I'm finally there in my own life to give at this level, you know? Yes. But this is for my Geminis. Make sure you guys are cool, calm, and collected. You see that? of your faith 
that's because of your frequency, you know, the way you've been applying your frequency, you know. A lot of people are very inspired by you, Gemini, you know, because you're moving very silently, you know, but you're doing your thing, you know, skillfully and masterfully. I see you closing out a chapter here, Gemini, as you're moving forward, you feel very complete, you know, you feel like you've been there, you've done that, you know, you're kind of waving, this is like your last hurrah, you know, I see you feeling very complete, you know, like this is it, these are the final days, you know, before you get to open this new life, this new book, you know, this new exchange. I see there's a situation around you where you've been very generous, you know, you haven't gotten as much you know, as you've put in, you know, this person is being a little oblivious and very, very, very big headed, you know, but you like, fuck it, fuck you, bye, I'm letting this go, you know, I see you missing some things as you're moving forward, you a little scared to let them go, but fuck it, I see you running your errands, paying your bills, taking care of the things that you need to, you know, and you really trying to stay strong, you really trying to control yourself right now, you know, you're not trying to be too impulsive or irrational, you know, you're trying to control your energy as you move forward so you can wing some things here, because you have so many things to attend to, Gemini, so many things that require your energy, but I see you dwelling on a certain situation sometimes, it's taking away from your focus, and you're not eating and drinking properly as you should, Gemini. But I see, you know, you've let things simmer for as long as they could. But I see recently something, you know, triggered you. You know, something ticked you off. You know, I see you're, you're thinking very balanced now after this has happened because you were thinking a little dumb. You know, you was letting, you know, people or certain situation walk all over you. But not now. You got your mojo back, you know, and it's clear to you now. Your mind is clear to you. I see you feeling very fulfilled with yourself, very complete very accomplished, you know, with everything you have done, with who you are, like, wow, I'm so proud of myself, you know, and how far I have came. I see you letting go of a situation that you have enabled for a very long time here. You have enabled a certain situation. You're finally taking more action as you're moving forward, Gemini. And I see you being very calculative. You're gonna change so much in these next six months. You're gonna be spending a lot of time alone focused on transformation. I see you only wanting transparent energy around you, Gemini. And I see you not shorting yourself as you're moving forward, you know? You realizing the superpower that you are, how smart you are, how courageous that you are, how much bigger you are than a lot of men around you, yes, okay? And the man that you're gonna be with is going to be your size. It's not gonna, he's not gonna be below your knees, Gemini. I know that's right. Wow, Gemini, I'm so proud of you. Gemini, you are realizing yourself. This is it. This is the moment you become the Empress, Gemini. This is the moment that you are crowned as the queen that you are. Thank you, Gemini, for everything you have done. Thank you. I see so many people that revolve around you. You know, they need you, you know. You're the nucleus. You're the guide. You're the positive. You know, you're the mama, you know, you're the one everybody can count on, you know, but it's different now because before you didn't know why, now you know why, Gemini. <laughs> I want to tell you, it's so crazy because um, this is the first time that I'm choosing this deck to read. Um, this is one of the decks that I received for my birthday. And this is the card that I chose, you know, to do the screen for everybody. Usually I have different screens for the readings, but this was the card. And it's crazy. I use, you know, my thing. So this is the main card in your reading. And I'm like, wow, Gemini. Yes. Period. God is good. But you are now realized, Gemini. Mm-hmm. Some of you Geminis will be getting pregnant. This is a warning. If you do not want to get pregnant, you know, strap up. But this is a warning. Gemini, I love you so much. I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm lying. I'm doing the relationship reading too. Oh, shit. All right, Gemini. I'm funny. All right, Gemini.
Gemini, it's about to get good. Now we about to do your boo, Gemini. We about to do your boo. Choose 12 cards in their name, Gemini, past, present, and future. Trusting in themselves, trusting in whatever it is that they're doing. They don't really give a fuck about what anybody else thinks, you know, if they're living their life. I see them working a lot, you know. I see them working on some plans, you know. I see them trying to bring some plans about. I see them trying to make a purchase right now in their life. I see they're finally seeing something clearly. They weren't seeing a certain situation clearly, but now they are, you know. They don't give a fuck now. This person is really exposed as who they are. That may not necessarily be a bad thing, but they're just exposed. They out there in a way that they wasn't before, you know? And they're not caring. They're being brave in exactly how they're acting. Yes, I see you and this person missing each other, you know? Y'all are missing each other. Oh, D, you know? You know in that there's a lot of changes and transformation right now for the both of you during this time. So, you know, you may be having to let go of each other, wanting to spend time with each other. Or this is it. You know, it's coming to a culmination. I see this person trying to figure some money moves out in their life, some plans that they're making. You know, they're trying to be very cautious with how it is that they're spending their money. I see they feel very guilty. You know, they're very shocked about the way some information has been relayed to them. They're like, wow, you know, some truths have been exposed. Things are now out. They're holding back some emotions here. They're not exactly saying everything that's on their mind or how they're feeling. You know, they're being a little selfish. They just want to be prioritized. There's something that you said or somebody around them said something about them. You know, they feel very criticized. You know, they feel a little guilty again, like I said earlier, about something that's going on. But nonetheless, they're choosing themselves, you know? They got a lot of things on their plate right now that's actually going very well for them, you know? And they need these things in their life, you know, because it's bringing a lot of purpose to them. I see they're very intuitive. This person is very sneaky, you know? They know how to work you. They know how to work your energy, manipulate you, all that, Gemini. Mm-hmm. This person is looking very good overall, you know? They doing their thing, you know? They doing their thing. Something is about to come to fruition for them completely, you know? Their ego is about to be fed in a big way. Just get ready. It is up to you on how, you know, you want, you know, things to move forward. But you're very clear right now. Everything is on the table, you know? Me, personally, this is not a connection that I would want to, you know, engage in, you know? emotionally you know depending on what level that suits you like i said whether it may be romantically or if it's with a family member a friend etc you know you can use it to maneuver wow y'all had one card connected and that was the six of cups i will show you that that was the card you had connected right there gemini so now gemini now I love y'all. Happy birthday. I will see you next month. If y'all have any questions or anything, just ask below and I'll be happy to respond. Bye.